Good morning, Debbie Holloway here. Excited to be seeing you guys. Um, had an amazing event uh, with in Denver, phenomenal. Um, had over 100 women registered for the event. It was really, really good. Talked about a ton of great things that, that I think all of us women deal with. Um, some strategies for our business uh, and some leadership th uh, things. One of the things that I really keyed in on is something from the book, The 12 Week Year. If you haven't read The 12 Week Year, I highly recommend that you do. It allows us to really focus on what we're doing and not doing day to day. And I wanna share more with you when we have time. But I first wanna recommend that you get the book because I think it's just what it can share with you about organizing your day. And by the way, it doesn't take out personal. It has you put in what you wanna do personally first. is really, really important. I know some of the women that attended the event um, will probably share on here as well some of the things that they've learned. Um, so I really want you to get the book to the 12 week year because I'm gonna share some tips with you. Um, so simply put, just get out a piece of paper, look at what your day looks like. What time do you get up and what time do you go to bed? And in between the time you get up and the time you go to bed, that's your day. Do you know that statistics show us that we as a human <laughs> actually waste a minimum of two hours every day. What do you think we're wasting it on? Video games, TV, wasting two hours. If you were to say, I get up at six, I go to bed at say 10. What, and during that part of my day, what times during that day do I need to block out for family? What time do I need to block out for family and write it down? For example, from the time you get up to the time you get into work, you need to stop checking your voicemail, your email, all of the things that have to do with work. You are ruining your family relationships by doing that. Stop doing that. When you get up, from the time you do that till the time you get to work, it needs to be for time spent with family, fixing some breakfast, reading uh, or reading something great or doing a daily devotional, um, exercising, walking the dog, walking the cat, dragging the cat, I guess. I don't guess you walk a cat. Whatever it is. That's the time for that. All of those things you think you're going to take care of first thing in the morning will absolutely ruin your day. Those fires you put out before you go to work will be burning all day. And at the end of the day, you'll say, what did I get done today? I was putting out fires all day. So let's start with that. And I encourage you all to do it and let me know how it goes. From the time you get up to the time you get to work, don't do work. Listen, unless someone died or the building's on fire, they'll let you know. Otherwise, focus on something that actually means more to you than anything else, your family and yourself. Instead of putting people in front of the people you care about the most, putting people in front of your own health. Don't do that. I'm going to challenge you ladies to try that this week, just in the morning and let me know how it goes. Now, many of you did post after last the, the last week's post items you wanted me to send you. A couple I had to respond and ask questions about what you wanted. If you're looking for something to help build your business, if there's a gap and I have something that can help fill that, a documented checklist, a system, I'm happy to share that with you. That's what this group is for. Go to that post and just put in your email address and tell me what you need help with and I'll send it to you if I have something. Otherwise, ladies, try that morning schedule. Get the book, The 12 Week Year. That could make a huge difference for you. And those of you that are now watching that attended the Wire event in Denver, I'd love your feedback. We will be doing it again next year. Make it a wonderful day. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Don't be a stranger. I want to help. Talk soon.